from Atlanta, Georgia. Beautifully, wonderfully made by God. Welcome to the prediction. Hello, hello, hello to all my uniques out there. This is your girl, Akudo. Welcome to your unique Monday. For those of you that are my returning subscribers, hello and welcome. For those of you that are not part of the family, remember to click on the subscribe button so that you'll be part of this family. I'm going to motivate you this week from Revelations chapter 3, from verse 8, then I'll go to 10. Revelations chapter 3, from verse 8, and I read, I know your works. Behold, I've set before you an open door, and no one can shut it. For you have a little strength and have kept my word and have not denied my name. Then I'm going to go further. I'm going to go further. And then he says, because you have kept, verse 10, because you have kept the word of my patience, I also will keep you from the hour of temptation, which shall come on all the world to try them that dwell on the earth. 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which you have, that no man can take your crown. The Bible says, hold what you have so that no man can take your crown. Because God is coming very soon. Jesus is coming very soon. He says, I know your works. God knows everything about you. What you do in secret, what you do in private, what you do in your homes, how you act at work, what you do at church. God knows everything about you. And he says, I know your works. Behold, I've set before you an open door. Do you understand what open door means? When you open a door, everything goes through. Blessing goes through. Healing goes through. Marriage goes through. Children go through. Good relationship go through. Businesses go through. When you open a door, that's the only way you can get from where you are to the other side. If the door is closed, the door is locked. You can't live where you are. You are locked in. You're caged in. You're, you're limited. But when God says, I set before you an open door, he has opened your limitations. He has opened your boundaries. He has opened your barriers. He has opened that thing that is an obstacle to you. God said, I set before you an open door. I set before you an open door that no one can shut. For you have a little strength and you have kept my word because you have kept my word because you have strength in you god says your reward is an open door that no man can shut i don't care how they have planned it it doesn't matter who planned it it doesn't matter the location they have planned it it doesn't matter how many of them gathered to plan it the bible says i've set before you an open door no man born of woman or flesh can shut it. I don't care what obstacles you think that you're facing. I don't know what we are going to step into this week. I don't know what you're going to step into, you know, as you step into your business, your work, your family, your relationship. Things are going to come up. They are trying to close your door, force it up, you know, force it closed. They want to make sure that that door, that, that openness, that uh, opportunity will not be given to you. But God says, I, your God, I have set that door. I have set that door that no one can shut. I have set that door that nobody can close it. And then he continued from verse 10. He said, because you have kept my word, because you have obeyed me. The Bible says, seek ye the kingdom of God first and every other thing will be added. Because you were seeking me first. Because you are diligently looking for me, diligently seeking me. He said, and you have kept my word. I also, not only will I open doors for you, but I also will keep you from the hour of temptation. I know that you will be tempted. Jesus Christ came to this world and even the devil had the gods to tempt him. And went up to him and offered him power. Offered him, you know, authority. Offered him fleshly material, material things by saying, you know, are you hungry? I will test you with food. That bread represents material possession. And then he took him to the pinnacle and said, you know what, if you can jump off from here. After all, the Bible says he sent his angels. He was testing his power, his authority. The devil tempted Jesus. Why do you think you're going to be different? 
Why do you think he's not going to tempt you? He said that, you know, I will even protect you at that hour of temptation. And then he said, I will also come to the world and then try them and dwell in, on, on the earth. The Bible says, I come quickly. My sister, my brother, do you know Jesus is coming very soon? Everything that the Bible has said that will show us signs that the end time is here, that will show us signs that Jesus is coming, they are all happening. They have almost, all of them have happened. Some of them that haven't happened is about to happen very soon. Jesus said, I am coming very soon. I am coming very soon. Hold that fast which you have. Hold that fast which you have that no man will take your crown. What are you holding? You're holding your spirituality. You're holding your religious nature. You're holding the doctrines. You're holding the animosity. You're holding your holiness. What are you holding? The Bible says, hold on to Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. Looking on to Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. Holding on to your belief. Holding on to he who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Hold on to that which you have. Because the world will try to take it away from you. People will try to rob you the wrong way. People will try to take that salvation from you. But the Bible is encouraging you and I'm here to encourage you today. Hold on to that which you have because Jesus is coming soon. And he has set before you an open door that no man can shut. Remember what the Bible says that the devil is rolling around like a rolling lion seeking whom to devour. His message in this world is to kill, to steal and to destroy. The devil has come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. What has he come to kill? Your destiny, your purpose. What has he come to destroy? Whatever you stand for. What has he come to destroy? What you believe in. He's here to kill, to steal, and to destroy. How do you steal from people when they lose focus? If you're not paying attention, I'll steal your money. If you're not paying attention, looking at that thing you have, I'll take it away from you. That's what the devil does. He comes to steal when you're, you are not focused, when you're not paying attention, just like a thief comes when you are not prepared, when you're not paying attention. The devil has come to steal. When he steals that which you have, he now destroys it because he has no value for it. Then what next does he do? He now kills it. Make sure it doesn't come back to life. But the same verse in the Bible say, But I, who is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the I am who I am, the sovereign God. He said, But I have come that you will have life and life more abundantly. You see, two things. The devil has he has come to steal from you when you're not paying attention, to destroy that thing which he has stolen from you, and to kill it so it doesn't come back again. But he said, I, on the other hand, which is the king of glory, that is coming back very soon, say, I have come to give you life, and life more abundantly. My sister, my brother, as you step into your week, as you step into whatever you're stepping into, I want to encourage you, I want to encourage you to remember who you are, and who you are step into that business step into that career step into whatever you're stepping into this week and know that god says i got you i have opened that door for you no man created on earth will ever shut it so step into that your step into your blessing my sister that door is open i have opened that door for you if you didn't know before know it right now from today the Lord has said before you an open door. Open door means open door to blessing, open door to healing, open door to that marriage you're looking for, open door to that business opportunity, open door for your children, those of you that are looking for the fruit of the loom, open door for that ministry you want to start, open door for whatever. The door is open, my uniques. Don't say it's closed. It is open. I have said before you an open door. Because you have obeyed my word. Because you have obeyed my commandments. I have opened an open door. I have set an open door before you. That no man on earth will shut. Remember. God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Seek Lord and let him reward you for all the seeking that you have done. You are beautifully and wonderfully made by God. That is why you are unique. Be kind to yourselves and to each other. Love, love you guys. Bye-bye.